this is Connie and welcome back to my coloring book obsession. I know it's been a few weeks since I've done a video but um, I'm actually running out of coloring books. <laughs> I've only got one more video to do after this one and that will be all of my coloring books. So I'm going to have to think of something. I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to have to think of something to do. Maybe try, I don't like to move my camera much because it's set pretty well. But maybe I will try to do a um, coloring where I'm actually coloring in my book with another camera or something. We will see. But anyway, let's get into this. I wanted to show you, this one here is in um, Spanish, I do believe. I got this for free for review. And I got the American one too, but you know, it doesn't make any difference. It's just pictures to color. So what's the difference? Anyway, it's beautiful. It's got the flamingo on the top that is not colored, and it's got another bird on the back. So let's look at look through this a little bit. <clears throat> it's one-sided, which I really like. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? That cat. That is just adorable. This is actually a pretty nice coloring book. Owl. I don't know what that is. Is that a koala? <laughs> Looks like a little guinea pig or something. Is that is that what that is? Very cute though. These are all, by the way, this is all animals. I've had this quite a while, but I just have not done anything in it. There's the front cover or the inside cover of it. But it I have no idea what it says, or else I would tell you. <laughs> anyway, that is that book. The next book, um, these are books that I got when I first started getting interested in colors. And this one here is a Creative Haven Owls Coloring Book. And this is over 30 owl designs to color. More than 30 fanciful full page illustrations depict, depict the wisest of birds in lush tapestry like settings. Covered with flowers, paisleys, and other fun-to-color patterns, these adorable owls are posed against vivid backgrounds, brimming with intricate designs. So that's that. There's the back. Okay. These are also one-sided. Owl and the Pussycat. Three. <laughs> Those are cute. Those are really cute. Kind of a totem. There's the owl from the back there. These are adorable. Just not what I'm into right now. Um, I'd rather do the, the like I'm going to show you next. I will get into these because I'm not buying any new coloring books. Or it'll be rare if I do. Okay, so that's my Owls one. That is it from those, and I'm still in this coloring book. I This is my favorite coloring book that I've ever had. I love this. I wish it was larger sized, but I love this. I'll show you the one I just finished. I just finished doing this. And this was so fun. I love doing patterns like this. And look at the one I'm doing now. I just finished this this weekend and then I've done this so far. Isn't that, I love that. This is my, I think my favorite out of everything so far. And I'm using um, gel pens, which, you know, is my favorite and something that I'll probably always use. I love gel pens. I will try to do some with um, colored pencils that I'll show you here in a little bit. But um, isn't that neat? I love 
love, love this pattern. This is just fun to do. Just very mindless. It says mindfulness coloring book, and that's exactly it. Um, I don't think I've done anything new other than that. It took me a long time to do this one just because I I was busy and I didn't just didn't feel like it. But I've done this. I did most of this yesterday, actually. I had done this middle one a um, couple of days before, but I did the rest of all of these yesterday. So anyway, that is it for my coloring video. Um, not very long today, but if you like this kind of thing, please give me a thumbs up and let me know what you're coloring. Um, I'd love to see. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.